So we're here in the in kind of the middle of the Altona Flat Rock burn um, that happened um, in July of 2018. Um, we're in a pure jack pine stand here, which is predominantly what the, the Flat Rock ecosystem is. And about 500 um, acres burned during the summer, um, the last two weeks of July here. And what we're doing now with my forest ecology class is setting up plots where we can monitor um, and record how the forest uh, responds to the forest fire that happened. Jack pine is a fire adapted tree species. It has what are called serotonous cones, which means that the, the pine cones don't open unless they're exposed to 50 degrees Celsius heat or higher, um, the type of heat that you get um, following a fire, but not really otherwise. And now that those cones have all opened in this fire and the current forest is dead, we expect to see jack pine regenerating over the next year to, to the next decade, along with um, a lot of the, the green that you can see already coming back is huckleberry and blueberry that will be competing with the, the jack pine in the coming year. Um, along with thinking about the forest regeneration, uh, my students are thinking about um, what's happened to the soil properties um, here following the burn. We're doing a lot of studies on, on wildlife, so we're um, looking at um, how deer are going to impact forest regeneration. We're trapping small mammals to see how they're using the area following the burn. We're putting up nest boxes um, to look at, at flying squirrels and bird populations uh, following the forest fire. And we're doing all of that here in the fire and in reference forest outside of the fire to see how wildlife habitat is um, differentially affected in the two areas. Um, and really how the, the fire creates a much more diverse ecosystem and a lot of different habitat types that wouldn't have existed here otherwise. Um, we're also monitoring um, temperature at the ground level and thinking about how that influences regeneration and how the burn affected um, the understory um, climate that the that, um, species are, are experiencing. We're looking at um, the <clears throat> how the seeds are um, how the seed bank is responding to, um, or what the realized seed bank is, I should say, um, in greenhouse conditions versus what's actually germinating back out here.